Good morning from Australia. Today is Monday. It is the start of my first tour. Whilst out here in Australia, I'm actually doing three separate tours with three separate groups. And today is with the tour group Welcome to Travel, run by two lovely, lovely guys. Before I got on to anything else in this vlog, I wanted to let you guys know that the amazing team at Welcome to Travel have actually given me a discount code, which is just Beauty Spectrum at the checkout, which gets you $50 off their tour. So that's 50 Aussie dollars. That is amazing. Honestly, I know I'm raving about this, but I just had the best week with them and I can't speak highly enough of the team there. They were just incredible. So yeah, there's more information in the down bar in the description, but $50 off your booking, which is pretty decent basically yeah it starts today with like a getting to know each other kind of activity walking tour and a meal together and then as the week goes on the activities like um basically change and each day is different and we do a little excursion out to the coast which is so exciting but basically i thought i'd start it now it's going to be a weekly vlog this one i think because it just all fits together really nicely i am about to find out a little bit more about this tour group i know for a fact that they're really really good if you're planning a trip to australia and you want to be here for like a year on a working holiday welcome to travel really get you set up and started with like a bank account, a mobile number, all of that kind of stuff. So it's going to be really helpful for those people on this tour doing that. Obviously that isn't me, but I still think it would be a really nice way to meet new people and to see the city. So that is the start of this. However, as you can see, I've just woken up. I need to go for a shower. Everybody else is showering. We need to meet on the rooftop in 45 minutes. So yeah, let's start our week in Melbourne. So after getting to know each other, we started with a walking tour of the city. Obviously I'd seen a bit of it over the weekend, but we actually took a tram into the center. And I stand by the fact that a walking tour is actually the best way to see the city. So we just went to all the major Melbourne sites and got to know each other while we were walking around, which was amazing. We are in a place called Central Place. I just got some noodles. They look amazing, but they only had chopsticks and I physically can't use chopsticks. So uh, this lunch is gonna be interesting. It's probably gonna end up mainly down me, which isn't a fun time, but they look and smell really good. They took forever, so I hope they're worth it. After we'd eaten, we just carried on seeing the city, walking around. Major shout out to our tour guide, Billy, who is here. He was amazing. He was literally such a good tour guide. The whole week was so enjoyable and he really, really knew his stuff, which was great. This bit of artwork here is probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, they, the owner of the building just gave me free reign. So for the first time since I got here, I'm actually exploring the city on my own because everybody else in the tour group has gone to set up a bank account, which is like really cool for them. And obviously most of the people on the tour are staying in Australia for a year, um, but I'm obviously only here for seven weeks, so I don't need a bank account. I've got my Monzo card, I'm all good. So I thought that while I go do that, there's like three or four of us that aren't. I'm so lost. I just came from here. This isn't where I want to be. The rest of them have gone food shopping. I don't need to do that either. And I really, really, really wanted to see Victoria State Library, and that is right here. So I figured I've got like probably a spare hour, so I'm gonna go and sit at the library. Is that really sad? It's like really famous in Melbourne, so I'm gonna go and check it out, have a look. I've had a lot of recommendations that this is somewhere that I should definitely visit, so that's where I'm heading. Guys, this is literally. Definitely recommend checking this out guys if you've got a spare couple of hours in Melbourne. It's a really cool, calm vibe. I've really enjoyed it. And then after I'd explored here for a little bit, we headed for our first group dinner on the river at a restaurant and it was just so good. The food was amazing. And then a couple of us hopped in an Uber back into the center to a, I guess it was like a bar called the Croft Institute. And this actually used to be an old hospital. So their entire theming in the bar was like old hospital stuff. And it was really, really cool. Basically each drink came with a syringe in it, which was so bizarre. It was just a regular cocktail, but we were all sat there drinking them out of syringes and we had a really really good night it was a great way of getting to know people a little bit better it was a lot of fun <laughs> good morning it is still dark it's 7 30 this is my longest lie in so far i might be on normal time now normal time being australia time first day i didn't wake up at six it's only taking me five days but we're there and then Tuesday's itinerary consisted of heading around Victoria Markets again. We actually had loads of taste test opportunities. These donuts were amazing. All the fruit and veg here was just incredible. The mangoes and the melon were just ridiculous. And obviously the sweet treats were so good too. I love that we got to try them. We have come into the Victoria Market. I think that's what this is called. 
um, and we are tasting various different things. I don't know what I just ate. I don't know what we're eating now. That is basically our plan for the morning. It's just having a little explore, seeing what they offer. Thank you. So I'm about to try my first Melbourne coffee, which apparently Melbourne is famous for. Also, look at the skyline behind me. But yeah, it's like known for its coffee. Although I have had to get decaf. I'm only on decaf coffee. And the hoodie has gone back on because it's cold, shark. But I'm excited to try this. It's meant to be really good. We are still in the market, so I'm buying stuff that I definitely don't need. Uh, but stuff that I want and stuff that I think I'll use. We are back from the market. I'm actually the first one back in my room because we all split off into separate groups. And I ended up with two girls called Katie and Emma who are actually from Leeds, which I love. We love fellow Yorkshire people on this tour. However, I thought I'd do a little market haul for you because I bought stuff that I definitely don't need. These plats are really tiny. I look so bald. Market haul. Could this be more touristy? We've got a, a koala bear, a teddy koala, a boomerang, a t-shirt with a kangaroo on it with the map of Australia behind, and two postcards that I'm actually about to write to send home. And I splashed out a bit because they're 3D, which is funky. The weather today is a little bit better. It's warmer. Um, I had my hoodie on because I got cold, but now I'm really warm because this room in the hostel gets super sweaty and it's also super messy right now. Um, that is the thing with hostels obviously I feel like I am fairly tidy like I, my family watching this is gonna be like no you're not but honestly compared to a lot of people I really am um, and there are some people I'm sharing a room with that are just not and that's fine when you're in your own personal space like live how you want to live but I feel like when you're sharing a living space with other people you do just have to like be a bit aware of the fact that your stuff's everywhere but these are things that I'm coming to learn and coming to realize as I'm here also somebody's cutting the grass right outside which is why it's really loud but yeah there are things that I'm picking up on more and more like the way the this whole thing works is like the majority of the day we're on the tour but there is a lot of free time and in that free time you kind of adapt a routine like breakfast at a certain time showering at a certain time so like so far since i've been here i've got up and showered first thing which i never do at home i shower in the evening at home that is so loud so yeah i'm gonna write my postcards now because i've got a little bit of chill time i'm in here on my own for the first time since i arrived on friday which actually is quite nice because i do spend quite a bit of time sat on my own at home it's weird to spend all my time with other people but we're adapting. We've just got some lunch. I don't really know what this is, but it's like a panini of some kind, basically. So the way this tour works is you get secret excursions where you don't know what you're doing or where you're going. You just have like an hour's gap where you don't know what it is. And we are about to do an Aboriginal heritage walk, which sounds very cool. We love a bit of culture. Um, and we're in like botanical gardens, which is also very pretty. You're right with the flies. There's so many flies, isn't there? It's horrendous, We're struggling, honestly. we're struggling. I've worn yellow as well. I'm just a poor boy from England. <laughs> you are not a poor boy. You are not. I'm your guide for today, I'm Ben. Shout out to Dan, he was such a cool tour guide. He was obviously so interested in the Aboriginal history of Australia and it was so good to learn about it because I literally knew nothing before I left. So walking around these gardens was really, really interesting. And the whole tour group was so lovely. Like I can't even shout out this tour group enough. I got on with everybody so well. This walking tour lasted for around an hour. We also got to see some of the gardens and the war memorials. And it was just really interesting to see a more quiet side of the city and then we headed back for more food. Um, you sometimes see gelati shops and they've got these open tubs and it's all piled up. Two sorbetis at the bottom, they're dairy free if anybody needs I them. went for pistachio and caramel and it was actually delicious and then we headed to Hosier Lane. This is probably what Melbourne is most famous for. It's such an arty city and this is the most hashtag location on Instagram in the city and it is so obvious why. Like the artwork here is incredible. This is not regular graffiti, it is actual works of art. And let me tell you, there are a lot of photos going on down here. Uh, Melbourne artists have got a website, uh, so they just go onto them, say they're going to paint this tiger, and they'll say, look, I'm going to put this onto B2, uh, whichever area it is, uh, and I'm going to put it there for two weeks. I think I'll have probably already just explained what we're doing, but there are some sick pieces of artwork, some really, really talented people. This is stunning. Photo shoots are happening everywhere. That's so cool. <laughs> 
This reminds me of the hamster I used to have, apart from I'm not too sure why it doesn't have half of its head. Uh, Lady Gaga did a gig at Eddie Head one night and she came back here for the after party and they asked her if she could play for, uh, like, a, a, she asked if she could play a set for an hour and they turned around and said no. And she, she was like, do you know who I am? And they're like, yes, we do, but you're not going to be here every single weekend. Our local talent is, and just bar her off. And she's turned around and walked off. Wow. Wow. This is sick. We are sharing a Chinese meal. We've got all you can eat dumplings coming. We're all sat sharing the wine. You can bring your own alcohol. It's very cool. It's very, very loud. And we're debating what you call these. What did you call them? Edamames. Edamames. Yeah. How do you say it? Edamames? That's not edamame. It's green beans. <laughs> How's, it? <laughs> How's it going for you? At least having an absolute disaster. Oh, my camera is so soggy. <laughs> Oh boy, I've had a few too many drinks. We went to a bar called Mill House, I think it was called, in Melbourne, and it was amazing. We had such a laugh. We also were just laughing the whole time at the meal thing as well. Honestly, there's some such lovely girls on this trip. Gemma and Sam, um, obviously Ellie, who I've mentioned before, Katie and Emma. Everyone was just having such a laugh. It was amazing. Um, and I've never felt like that before, like so connected to strangers so quickly. However, we are currently, oh my God, I've taken my makeup off horrifically, packing up all of our stuff, which is so much harder than you would think considering I only unpacked it like five days ago. Somehow it seems to have doubled in quantity because tomorrow we're heading to Phillip Island. So I will pick you up then. <laughs> How do you feel about the music? <laughs> um, it is a perfect day if you look at that. Some days you get out here uh, when it's windy and there's loads of white caps. Uh, today it just virtually looks like a glass out. We are at Mount Martha Beach, I think this is what it's called. It's so pretty. On here this just isn't doing it justice but trust me this water is like so blue and then this beach is kind of famous for having all of these what they call beach huts very very colorful there's flies literally everywhere though but it's so pretty so calm and it's also really quiet which is really nice the rich kids live. Can you stop it? This pier is so pretty. I forgot the name of it already but it's cute. It's called like Drama Dramana? Dramana? I don't know but it's very very gorgeous and my hat is very very wide yet again. We stopped off here for a little bit of a walk and then we actually headed up to some gorgeous viewpoints near Mount Martha Beach and on like Mornington Peninsula and we stopped here and had some fish and chips and had some lunch, it was amazing and Billy continued to be our tour guide telling us all about where we were standing and what we were looking at and it was super interesting. And then after we'd all finished eating we actually headed back on the bus to a winery to go wine tasting. Okay, we are wine tasting. This is Prosecco, yeah? Not white yeah. wine, okay. Delicious. Um, enjoy that. We'll be back in a few seconds. Oh, that's so good. I'm so good. So this is Pinot Grigio, but a very fruity one. Thank okay. you. And then after we'd all had a little bit too much wine, yet again, we got back on the bus and headed to Phillip Island. Now, Billy was actually saying that when the tide is low enough, you can almost walk across from mainland Melbourne to Phillip Island, but the tide was up and obviously we weren't going to do that, but it had some stunning beaches. This beach is so beautiful. You can do a room tour if you want. Guys, we've just arrived, where are we? Phillip Island. And we have taken this room of six, which is absolutely huge compared to the rooms in the YHA that we were in. Gemma wants to be in the vlog, so there you go, you can do a room tour. <laughs> Okay, well this is my bed, Ellie's above me. This is Emma and Katie's bed, they're there. And then this is Sam and Gemma's bed. But it's so much space, we were just saying you could fully do a workout in all this space here. Will we? You will be. We'll watch, I'm not doing that. 6 a.m., you're crazy. Is there a mirror in here? There's no mirror, I just thought that. Which is actually a good thing. 
Game. Oh, oh, is that the drinking yeah. game? Oh, it's an actual it's card not a game. game but okay, it's I'm very excited about this. Big. Also, guys, I'm incredibly sunburned, we're so naked. we're just not looking at that. Oh God, I think it's actually getting worse. I've said it now. <laughs> Do you like your drink? We've got. Oh, you don't have a drink. Why don't you have one? Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> we're drinking. What is it called? Vino wine. It's very it's classy. Wine. Whilst listening to Jurassic Park. <laughs> what is going on right now? It's because Eddie's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ellie's 24. She's the butt of the old joke. We were heading to watch the Penguin Parade, which is kind of famous on Phillip Island, but the view. I think this is the prettiest view we've seen so far. Oh yeah. my god, guys, honestly, it was just stunning. Right, we're waiting for the penguins <laughs> to come out of the sea. But we're not meant to film any of this, so we're just going to do it really slyly. Still not over the sunburn. The penguins are late. Also, on a schedule. it's so windy, you won't even be able to hear this, but currently we're stand up here. I'll see you in the video instead. We sat here for probably around an hour until it was fully, fully dark, just watching the penguins come in from the sea. About a thousand penguins come in in total, and this was such an amazing, unique experience. I did not know Australia had penguins. They were so, so cute. And yeah, this was a trip highlight of the whole seven weeks. This is literally the best seat we could have got. They're so cute. You can't really see me, and that is probably for the best. Anyway. We just saw the penguins coming out of the sea and it was very impressive and very, very cold. But I was just saying, it's not something you do every Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Today <laughs> okay. so we are surfing. Bit nervous about this. I've surfed once before. Yeah, basically that's what's happening. How do you feel about going surfing? Fantastic. Good buzz it. Have you, you, you've done this before, I have. Yeah. yeah. I've done this once. It took me ages to get the hang of it, and that was a few months ago, so I feel like I'm going to be awful. However, there is a difference surfing in Australia to surfing in Cornwall. I feel like this is just cooler and a bit more fun. Um, although, uh, no doubt the water is still going to be absolutely freezing. So, I didn't get any footage of this, but here are some photos to prove that I did try. I was actually rubbish at this, guys. Honestly, it was so much easier surfing in Cornwall. And then from here we went to watch the pelicans being fed literally just nearby where we'd been surfing and this reminded me so much of Nemo, I was loving life. I thought this was a kangaroo but turns out it's a wallaby, you also can't see it anyway. This is my first time seeing a koala since we got to Australia. Highlight of the trip so far, look at it. You know they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were, I thought they were like way smaller than that. Koala is about to be fed, guys. This is so cool. It's just chilling. <laughs> Does it get to eat that whole bush? That's a big bush. He's so well hidden. I would love to stroke it. You can't hold No, they're too big. We need to walk under the gate, but it's being guarded by the peacock. Look at this kangaroo, guys. It's got a little joey. How does it fit in there? Is that its feet sticking out? Really? Just eat grass. Oh. No, it's oh. Like oh, look at the baby. Yeah. Oh, I gave that albino some. Oh, no, I'm about that. Oh, my God. Right, take yours I think away. It's finishing this off. Take yours away. And it will just go from the hand. Oh, that's look so brave. That. Oh, my Ooh, God. I'm being so attacked by flies, though. Look at it. They are. They're really. Look at it. God, he's a big one, isn't he? Show me his teeth, this one. Yeah, that one's, uh, that one's aggressive. That's a big kangaroo. That one was small. Oh, 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 oh careful. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I got that on camera. <laughs> I want to get involved with the kangaroo. <laughs> Look at how close I am to this one. <laughs> got such long legs. What the hell? <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. I've never even seen a kangaroo before, I don't think let alone fed one out of a thing. And then after a two hour drive, we arrived back at the original hostel in Melbourne. We unpacked, we were back in the exact same room. We went for Thai dinner and then we just explored the city a little bit that evening. Good morning guys, it is now Friday. I'm back in the YHA hostel because we left Phillip Island. It was amazing, probably the best part of the trip so far. Definitely seeing the penguins, 
Learning to surf was an experience. I actually really struggled. Even though I have done it before, and when I did it before, I was like, okay at it. Um, but the current in the water was so much stronger. Anyway, it's currently Friday morning. Last night, I didn't vlog much at all. This vlog's been very all over the place. I hope you don't mind the style of it. Um, however, yeah, last night, we all went to a bar. Ended up getting back at 2 a.m. It's so weird how quickly you can click with people when you spend a lot of time with them. Like, I've literally only known most of these guys for, like, five or six days. But we get on as if we've been a class in school for, like, three years. Like, it's crazy crazy this feels like the best bits of sixth form in university but in like a way more exciting place it's really bizarre anyway this morning everybody else is having a talk with welcome to travel about like future employment plans and stuff obviously i don't need that because i'm not here on a working visa um this tour is really really helpful if you are like it's very geared up for if you're doing like onwards um employment or like travel and stuff so i am going to the travel half of it but i don't need to go to listen to the talk part of it the talk part the work part so i have shoved my hair up i've got on this little place too and i'm gonna go and do my first batch of laundry then after the talk had finished we actually all got on the tram and headed down to st kilda now st kilda is kind of like an edgy suburb a little bit out of the city it has a beach and it is stunning we had the most incredible lunch but then it actually started raining so our plans kind of got a little bit scuppered and they've gone in the sea in st kilda you can't even see them they've gone that far out there and now these guys are having a race <laughs> three two Oh, it's tight. <laughs> okay, because it was raining in St Kilda, we are coming up the... What is the name of this? Sky Deck. Sky Deck. Something. Eureka Tower. It's Eureka Tower. I know nothing about it other than it's got a fast lift. Oh god, I didn't realise it went this high up. Oh my god. The visibility is so bad, but this is actually way, way higher up than I thought it was. I actually don't like it. This is so pretty guys, although the fog's still like really low. Same fog, it's probably not fog, is it? It's probably smoke. Hi guys, welcome to the Eureka you're Sky out, Deck. Out, okay. How do you know? I can see the screen. Yeah, you're good. Okay, hi guys, welcome to the Eureka Sky Deck. Uh, this is Molly's vlog. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the ride so far. I'm going to be your tour guide for up here. We'll have a little walk, walk around. Uh, I'm Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack WR Brown on Instagram. Uh, definitely go, definitely go give it a shout out. Really good content, really good content. You absolutely love it. Um, so, decent viewing it, better view it. If you like a bit of cricket, that's the place to go. There's a footy stadium there. Yeah. Hello again. Right. So back again, back again, guys. Out there, see a li little bit of a view. MCG is the big stadium. Then there's the Rod Laver Arena, that's that's the uh, tennessee bit. Um, and then there's like a footy pitch as well or something, apparently. This is what you find out. Some nice skyscraper, a bit weird actually looking down. It's a bit strange, but there you are. Just have a little wander around here, see what's going on, catch up with some of the guys. Looks like a BTEC sort of Eiffel Tower down there. I don't know if you can see it, that one there. Bit sh but go to Paris, much better. Also, don't listen to anything Molly says, she chats bollocks. Listen to me, I'm the top vlogger, I'm rising on YouTube, definitely go give me a give me a subscription. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, Molly, as the Aussies say. I'll, I'll say goodbye everybody, nice to see ya. Um, but yeah, Jack WR Brown, remember that one. Good God, okay. Look at this smoke, guys. That night we actually all decided to order in a curry because the weather was so bad so we sat on the rooftop and then we ended up playing the weirdest drinking game. Honestly some of these guys had the weirdest like games and things they played back at home including this weird throwing the shoe game which resulted in so much laughter. Guys, this morning I'm actually filming a video with Daryl, the guy who basically co-owns Welcome to Travel, the tour that I've done this week. So that video will be up separate to this one, probably the next video on my channel. He's also brought his dog along, which is amazing. Yeah, 
that is this. Also, we're in a really cool meeting room that the hostel have, which is amazing because I actually need to do some work today. So I've just asked him if I can like hire the meeting room out because even though I'm here like on a seven week long break, I am still working as if I'm at home. That was so awkward. I was just vlogging and then there's loads of people in the corridor. Still not 100% confident with this, but yeah, filmed with Daryl. Really, really good collab about best routes to take in Australia, where to start, where to end, and how safe it is to do it alone. So if that's interesting for you or you're looking at a trip like this or you've liked this vlog and want to know more about the travel company that'll be up on my channel like the next video that goes up probably but now i want some breakfast didn't expect to film a video this morning otherwise i would have got up and done my makeup but hey so the saturday of the welcome to travel tour is the melbourne bar crawl so we spent the late afternoon getting ready for this because we knew that it was going to be like the big send off the big night out and we were so excited and melbourne did not disappoint it had an amazing bar and club scene we thought this was a bar crawl. Turns out this was a 140 people on a nightclub crawl. And it's not even dark. Look at the sky. It's light. It's daylight. Okay, and then the night took a bit of a turn for the worse. One of my friends, Luke, who I'd spent a lot of the week with, actually fell off a stage. It was kind of like a table in the club and he hit his head pretty bad and he'd hurt his neck. So we were like, we're gonna take you to A&E. We're gonna sort it out. And they actually ended up keeping him in overnight. So we waited with him for about an hour, maybe two hours, and we were really concerned. But I don't think he'd mind me including this in the vlog because it was such a funny story the next day. He was completely fine, but this is not how I thought the night was gonna end at all so yeah that's a story time for you all right it is now the next morning guys look a little bit worse for wear it's actually the afternoon it's not even the morning is it we're all very dead and i actually leave today to fly to sydney and i can't think of anything i want to do less right now than board a plane <laughs> however i'm sure it'll be fine Gemma's actually pulled through because she is staying an extra night in a private room and i've actually never stayed in a private room in a hostel before so it was nice to see what this is like <laughs> i'm still not staying in one yeah you actually are this is like a, a significant upgrade from the other rooms. Um, full on double bed and everything. But anyway, right now we have like a barbecue on the roof. It's like a, a goodbye leaving barbecue. Although once again, I'm not too sure how up for barbecue food I'm feeling, but we'll see what's going on on the roof. It's a shame it's not slightly better weather because it's like- The sun is coming up. Is it? Okay, it's that's dry. good. And then yeah, I need to leave at like five for my plane. So yeah, this was kind of our last thing all together. Billy stood up and did a little speech, which was super cute. Honestly, I cannot get over how quickly we all bonded. I did not expect the first week to be as close knit as this and leaving Melbourne was really, really hard. It was just such a gorgeous city. Okay, guys, I'm about to leave. Everybody's down here, they're like waving oh, me off. Good. Jack's still being a pain. A whole week of being annoying, you've really managed to keep it up. Uh -huh. Anyway, yeah, I'm heading to the airport now. I'm trying to not get upset because I actually don't want to leave them. They're all staying here. <laughs> Everybody's staying together. Right, so you're leaving, you're going to the Philippines. No, Philippines? For two weeks. For two weeks, yeah. Oh, Sam hasn't been in it yet. This is Sam. Jack, can you shout your Instagram out one more time? I swear to God. All right, that's my cue to end this clip, but I'm leaving now, basically. Bye, Molly. Bye, bye. See you later, vlogs. <laughs> So that is pretty much it guys, that is the week in Melbourne over already, which I'm so shocked about, it's gone so fast. Um, I'm currently sat in Melbourne airport, I have like 45 minutes until my flight, um, I'm flying to Sydney and I'm starting a tour tomorrow, so it's such a quick turnaround, um, with ultimate travel, so basically very very similar to what I've done this week, but with a different tour group um, in Sydney, and I'm basically doing a tour with ultimate travel for the whole rest of the time that I'm out here in Australia, I'm doing this one and then I'm doing another one that's like three weeks long with kind of like a little gap in the middle um, where I'm actually doing a surf base camp but all of that content is still to come but this wraps up the Melbourne video I hope you have enjoyed it there's a lot more information about welcome to travel coming in the next video but I will leave them linked down below because I really really recommend checking them out honestly if you're looking at coming to Australia they are the best people to like contact and to start out with just because 
they know what they're doing. They really, really know what they're doing. But yeah, I've just had the best week. Leaving was so hard. I really didn't think I would struggle to say goodbye after just seven days, but like, I could have cried. I, I just love those guys, they were so amazing. But yeah, anyway. Time to head to Sydney now. I'll see you in a vlog next weekend. Bye guys. Also guys, this is your reminder that every weekend when I upload these Australia vlogs, I'm also holding a giveaway over on Instagram. So head over to my Insta to enter. It closes at 6 p.m. this evening if you're watching it on the day that it goes up. And yeah, also don't forget to check out Welcome to Travel. The links are down below. And as I mentioned, they've given me a discount code, which is amazing for you guys. So yeah, definitely check them out. Their links are in the description. Bye guys. Bye.